Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on March 29th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a Monday and the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Observing the last 48 hours of the sun, still some not very active earth-facing sunspots, Looking here, last 48 hours, imagery incoming. Large plasma filament, no major sunspots. Zero space weather affecting us right now, pretty much. Looking here at outgoing images. Observing some plasma filaments. Nothing major or Earth directed. Having a look here at the multi-spectrum can see that CME that burst away from the right hand side there and as well a small flash from the left hand bright sunspot region very very faint solar flare watch quickly and as well we do have a growing but not very strong coronal hole earth facing and equatorial looking here Lasco 2 Lasco 3 as you can see not much energy at all being thwarted our way by the sun. And this is what our magnetosphere plot looks like right now. Very calm. Real time solar wind showing steady and calm at 338 kilometers per second. Watching the temperature raise a little bit here in the last few hours. That could be ahead of a small coronal hole wind stream that we are expecting. But still nothing major in the way of space weather affecting the planet. Looking here at Schumann resonance for today, a power of 28 and 46 for March 29th. Some nice energetic spikes there. Amplitude of 46 and a power quality of 8.4. Stay blessed everybody and Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of the new followers around the world. Looking here, earthquakes the last 24 hours. Most recent here, a 5.1 northern Alaska in the Beaufort Sea at a 10 kilometer depth. Now I've been watching this region recently with all the increased seismicity, and this is right around Mount McKinley, which is the third largest in the world and the largest in the United States. And seeing all these earthquakes all around it is a bit concerning. Some glacial peaks there could be ready to open up. As well, through the Aleutian Islands, 4.3. Adak, Alaska, 211 kilometer depth, pretty deep. Still aftershocks there, starry Russia. And then Marianas Trench seeing a 5.2 today, followed by a 5.1 and a 4.9. So we could, could see a small earthquake swarm happening there, the deepest trench on the planet. As well, the largest earthquake today, 5.6, 10 kilometer depth in Xinjiang, China. 5.0 reported here, Indonesia, just north of Krakatoa. 4.4 there, Banda Sea, just east of Luatola. As well, Papua New Guinea here with a 5.3 and a 4.8. Quiet through the Kermadex and New Zealand. Over into South America. The East Chile Rise, 
And then, yeah, through Central America, Barbados here. Rare earthquake, 5.5, 10-kilometer depth today. Seeing an increase in seismicity throughout this whole region recently. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. And then look at this as well. Ecuador up into Guatemala. Panama, 4.5. Costa Rica, 4.8. 4.6 in Guatemala and a 4.4 Guatemala. So very active volcano area and shaking today. As well, Mexico here in Chihuahua, Mexico. 4.0 reported just recently and as well 3.7 Mina Nevada so very active west coast and North America today Utah seeing a small swarm there largest being a 3.2 and they've seen about 20 to 25 earthquakes in the past well throughout the day today most northern there 2.6 Stanley Idaho quiet across the African plate and Eurasia up into Iceland as well. It's all happening here in Alaska right now. Alaska, Hawaii, and Marianas Trench. Let's have a look here. The last seven days for earthquakes. As you can see, there are a lot of white rings. That's most recent. We're seeing a lot of action today. We're already over the 300 mark for the last 24 hours. And it hasn't been like that for a couple weeks. So stay safe, stay frosty, have a plan, stay aware, prepared. Definitely through North American plate. Seeing a lot of activity through Hawaii as well. A bit concerning there with the deep earthquakes. Mauna Loa. Kilauea. Marianas Trench. All on watch. Iceland's got two massive holes spewing tons of energy. Speaking of volcanoes, let's get to the volcanoes updated today. Pacific Disaster Center. Yeah, we did have quite a storm go through Alberta last night. Almost hurricane force winds and blinding conditions. A couple pileups on the number one highway. But that storm quickly is moving east and bringing snow and snowstorm conditions towards eastern Canada now. But very, very windy situation and now cold. It's minus 8 after that front went through. Just looking at the satellite imagery, you could see there were some vicious winds coming through the BC valleys. A lot of subscribers reporting that. Reventador, Pacaya, Fuego, Swiss and Ajima, Sabinkaya, Era, Sange, La Soufri, Saint Vincent, Cinnabung, Kedavor, Popo, Dokono, Nevados de Ruz, Rung, Marapi, and Kluchevskoy. So that's about 15 volcanoes being updated today, and we're still looking at an active 39 across the planet. Wow. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. As the next three days, we're going to see things warm up, but then cold again and probably another snowstorm before even next week. The low pressure system that came out of Alberta is going to scoot its way, believe it or not, right across Greenland and over to Russia in the five day forecast, watch this low pressure system. So low pressure through Eastern Canada and up into the Hudson Bay, but then a low pressure system coming out of the Gulf here is going to rip up the Eastern seaboard and will bring some tornadic and severe weather towards the Southeastern United States again, and right up the coastline, those tight isobars, very, very windy situation for the Easter East coast Thursday into Friday. Temperature wise, yeah, cold temperatures down into the single digits to about Colorado, but things will be warming up for the states and staying cold for Canada. Big high pressure ridge hanging out in the Pacific here, helping things warm up. 
overlooking the Atlantic. Interesting low pressure system here forecasted for the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Should be interesting in the long range forecast where that thing goes. Overlooking Europe, only major system here is for parts of Northeast and Eastern Europe and into Russia. Low pressure system coming out of Greenland. The second one is actually the low pressure system that came from Canada. You see that low pressure went straight, scooted across Greenland and into the Finland coast. Overlooking Mediterranean, no major systems affecting you. As well, Africa, no major weather systems except for daily evaporation rains. Watch for a windy and possible tidal situation here in parts of Africa as that low pressure scoots by Thursday into Friday along coastal regions of Cape Town. Overlooking East Indies and China, no major weather systems except for a small system here moving into maybe Taiwan, depends on the high pressure ridge. Or sorry, Thailand. As well, low pressure system coming out of China here. Half of it's going to scoot towards Korea and the other half is interesting. In just interesting forecast happening there. I haven't seen these systems split up the way they do or merge the way they have recently. Much love to you all and prayers. Looking here over Indonesia, Malaysia. Only major weather system here will be this possible cyclone developing parts of northern Australia later in the week. Other than that, we're going to look at this big high pressure ridge over the Pacific Ocean and as well one on the coastline there. Keeping at bay that low pressure system just north of Hawaii. And then overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Low pressure system here, coastal regions of Argentina and as well, Brazil could see some heavy rains. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Tight, tight. Isobars mean very, very strong winds, and these low pressure systems are getting bigger. I want to thank everybody for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Please share this video today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.